back! It's Dadcraft 1, baby! Uh, like the first Dadcraft of the day. I don't know what time it is. It's the middle of the day. And there is an Enderman close by, okay? I heard him. Now that I have a shield, I don't have to be scared anymore. I have the most powerful weapon in the game. An iron sword. Did you know, by the way, I only found this out today. Hold on. Let me go uh, CSGO surf mode. Did you see the video of, uh, of Home Depot's, like, it was Santa's POV? And it showed, like, this drone camera going, like, pew, pew, and then going, like, through the aisles and then going up on top of the shelves and stuff like that. And then somebody edited it to put, like, the Counter-Strike knife on the right side so it looked like CSGO Surf. Oh, man, it was so good. I, I watched it, like, five times. Did you know this is Malf's tool shed? What a guy. Like, hold on. Let me let me let you get a closer view. I honestly was roasting this thing because it looks like something I would build. Like, look at it. It's literally just like a rectangle. It looks like a storage container. And then, like, for a guy who claims to love animals, does this look ethical to you? Not only do you have, what, like, four sheep and three cows? That's four cows. In, uh, it's actually five sheep, four cows intermingling in this, like, what? I don't even know. One and a half by, like, six pen? They gotta look at the llamas who are just tied up and able to, like, uh, roam semi-freely at least without every time they make a rotation, it's, it's butting into, like, seven other animals. Like, does this seem fair to you? Plus, again, spruce pine. Like, how does this happen, man? And they're on concrete. Yeah, dude. Like, and then this area over here is, like, for nothing. Why couldn't you just put other animals over here? I don't understand. Anyway, I was making fun of this. I didn't know it was Malf's house because it looks like something I would build. Um, hey, Pickle Down Rickonomics, thanks for the gifted subscriptions and the reminder of the, the humorous name. How much vitamin C have you had today? Dude, just like, let's just own it, okay? This is just what I'm going to sound like until probably my daughter is like 14 years old. I've just come to accept it. The, the, the pain in my life came from the denial that I would have a low level like runny nose for the remainder of my life. Uh, I, oh, I'll be better tomorrow. Copium, I'll be better tomorrow, copium. Nah, man, it's just the, this is just it, like for the rest of my days, I think. Um, I feel fine. I, I blow my nose now and then, but I feel fine. Uh, it's just, uh, it's the way of the world, man. It just, uh, the, the, the daycare illnesses, like, never end, man. Like, legit, I had to remember, um, like, I literally have been, not, like, crazy ill, but I have had some level of illness. You know what? These are valuable. Let's, let's put valuable stuff in another chest. Um... Out of the five weeks from the start of November until now, I've been sick four out of the five weeks. I had one week where I was like, everything, wow, feels so good to be back. Ah, everything's good. I've got a crazy immune system now. Nothing can stop me. And, you know, now I'm, I'm right back into it. I honestly think it's just kind of like the, it's, it's more than anything else, like a, a hangover from, like, how stressed out and uh, burned out I was trying to get back from the United States of America and thinking I would be there for, uh, you know, maybe the rest of my life while trying to get a negative uh, COVID test result within 72 hours so I could actually make it back into the country. But uh, I, th I think it's just, uh, just working it out, honestly. Just working it out. I almost had to become an American citizen. It's true. It is true. Hello, Jay, by the way. Good morning to you. Um, I laid down on my nephew's beanbag chair, and I'm sicker than I've been in the last 10 years. I mean, look, I know we're supposed to mine, okay? But I, I, I'm, here's what happened. Baby went to daycare. Keep in mind, we've been inside for like 18 months, right? Baby went to daycare. 
interacting with other children. We got the other children germs in the baby. She passed it on to us. That's like alarm number one for the illness. Number two, those kids that are in daycare have older siblings that are in school. They pass those to the daycare kid, pass it to our kid. Now it ends up in us. That's number two. I don't even know what number three was. I think I might have just underslept for like a couple days. But then like the last one, we went to the United States, interacted with middle school, my, my nieces who are middle school age children and got like a new enclave. These are like Washington state cold and flu viruses. They're giving the baby kisses like all weekend. The baby gives us kisses. We give the baby kisses. Everybody's sick. So I don't know. We're on like number, number 12 or something right now. Okay, what am I going to do? Like, we could build a purple house. However, I got to be honest, I was kind of pogging over the, the spelunking last time. I want to go back down into the caves, just to be straight up with you. I want to I wanna spend some time down in the caves. We, got, we, we should maybe bring some more wood with us. We got enough food for sure. Check your crystals. Oh, dude, yeah, I forgot the geode. The geode's probably regrown, right? Anyway, we'll, we'll get there eventually. I was laughing because I was... I, I think I mentioned this already, but... When our baby got um, the COVID negative test, and then they told us it was something called RSV, they were like, oh, one of the best ways to avoid RSV is to not let your child interact with other people like other children especially, during cold and flu season from late autumn until early spring. And you're like, thanks for the literally the most useless piece of advice of all time. This is like, so six months out of the year from like, you know, the end of October until the start of April, just, you just don't, forehead, just don't let them go outside. No big deal. Hold on, do we have... We have coal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can do this. But anyway, I think it's just also like the way of the world, right? You know, you, you just accept it's not going to kill you. You just got to get through it and then it's better. Like if you try to... I mean, I'm not an epidemiologist, right? Like I, I feel like if you try to it, it, like say something scientific without having the actual background for it, like... You know, you can get yourself into trouble. But I think if you said, like, oh, I never want my kid to get the flu. Um, oh, yeah, this is, this is my strip mine. Sorry. Uh, then, you know, you end up doing them more problems, you know? You got to expose them a little bit to the, to the pathogens so they can build up the, uh, some kind of immunity, at least to the stuff that, that is going to go around and is endemic, like, for the rest of Earth's history. Um or the rest of our, our modern history, at least. But, uh, yeah, we're just kind of owning it. <clears throat> I'm just kind of over, like, the people who are like, I haven't been sick forever. It was a Today's Isaac episode where I talked about it, where, you know, the people are like, you know, I, oh, I haven't been sick in a year and a half. And I'm like, yeah, you work from home, dummy. Of course you haven't been sick in a year and a half. You're not seeing anybody. doesn't mean your immune system's good. It's just like you're not exposed to viruses and germs. Wow, my immune system must be so strong. I haven't been sick uh, since March 2020 for some reason. Like, come on. Jesus, you understand germ theory is a thing? Is it nighttime? I don't leave the house at night. Okay, we'll, we'll sleep first. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Bro, this is honestly like, what the, there we go, D let's go, I, sleeping is a privilege. It means the phantoms don't get you. Okay, we don't need to keep our name tags, alright, alright, then we'll go to the cave. Go outside, everybody chill, man, everybody chill. By the way, just had Tim's and the bagel had way too much cream cheese. Well, 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 how the turntables. 
Yesterday, everybody was like, just use a napkin and scrape it off. Today, all of a sudden, people are saying that there's too much cream cheese on the bagel. Well, well, well. I see how it's different when it's... Uh... I'm going to get some iron. I apologize. I see... There, someone was laughing at me. Did you hear somebody laugh at me? That's a witch? Close the door. Double witch. Double witch. Is NL sick again or is my imagination deceiving me? But why male models? I mean, wait, Derek, we were just, we just talked about it for like, like, I don't know, 15 minutes, like longer than we should have ever talked about it. <laughs> I'm not scared of a witch, man. I, I have it on good authority. It must be the season of the witch. Is Kate doing better? Yeah, she's a little better. Not, uh, you know, not still not perfect. She's still probably a little bit uh, worse off than I am right now, but it's just going to take a while. Like, that's the we're, we're definitely, you know, barring any sort of... Uh, unforeseen relapse you know we're, we're we're on the road to recovery it just takes time like i said you know when you're like a i think when you're in school you get exposed to germs so regularly that your body is like bruce lee right like your immune system is just cracking virus skulls like every 10 seconds now like i don't get exposed to pathogens that often my body's like <laughs> it's like a steamship you know it's got a what the fuck is it is it takes a long time to get it going you know at the to to peak efficiency that's okay that's life i live with it There we go. I guess we'll go there. I, I kind of want to go all the way back down to the, the cavern, man. Just to prove that, like, I know where it is. NL's tool is going to break. Excuse me. This is why we took iron with us. This isn't my first rodeo. Some of you weren't here yesterday. I lived underground for 100 million years. This is just like a normal day at the office for me. This is where I got scared, I remember, because there was a spawner, uh, like, just through here. Somewhere through here. I, I recall. I recall. We, we did some amazing work yesterday. Have you watched Get Back? I want to. I haven't had a chance. Honestly, like, I'm, I'm a psycho, like I've been saying. I've been going to bed, like, at 9.30. And I, like... Oh, I've never been down here? Excuse me? Um, like, like, a, like a serial killer. I have, like, a serial killer bedtime right now. What a waste, man. Uh, so I haven't had too much like leisure time. I was spending a lot of my leisure time asleep uh, to, to help fight off this illness so I can uh, sound normal and not like a nerd again, to which I am met with, uh, you know, this is not negative comments necessarily, but a lot of people saying, is he sick or is it just me? Like I'm doing my best, okay? It just, it, it just takes time. You got you to gotta let the body do its work. But here's the thing, like, I wish that the Beatles would get back. I wish they would take their own advice and get back together. Because, honestly, the world could really use them right now. Don't you think?
Like, I don't... Surely, at this point, they could, like, put their differences aside and just... Was that a spider? I would have cried, probably. Maybe they could... Excuse me? Maybe we could have Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, still alive, okay? Instead of John Lennon, we could have Adam Levine... So there's there's one we swapped one virtuoso for another. And then I'm trying to think George Harrison, we need a good guitar player, John Mayer. There you go. Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, Adam Levine and John Mayer. The the new Beatles. New and improved Beatles 2.0. The best part about this is that they could also play Maroon 5 songs and John Mayer songs, which could only serve to improve their overall catalog. I mean, like, you got all of the albums and songs that the Beatles ever made, all those, all those classics, and then you also get to add in, like... Um, that one where John Mayer's like, I'm gonna run through the halls of my high school. I'm gonna scream at the top of my head. You know that one? And, you know, it's so good too because there's, that, there's been that long-term rivalry between the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and Maroon 5 sings moves like Jagger, right? So... They could actually, that's a big get for them. The Beatles, that is. Because they could change it into the moves like Lennon. I got the moves like Lennon. I've got the move, moves like Lennon. That would be like actually a huge get for them in the, in the battle of public perception and optics. Uh, that means there was an Enderman here, man. Michael A. L. Fox made the discovery. What a deal. What a thrill. Where are you going? Don't worry about it, man. Like, it's honestly... I'm, despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a maze right now. Just think, so once we get down here, settle in. Because we're going to spend, like, the rest of our lives here. Ah, oh, crap. Torches on the right, Spelunker's Delight. Torches on the left, you're headed back to the base. Torches on the right, Spelunker's... Torches on the right. Torches on the left. He was just schmoovin'. I was just schmoovin'. We need to find base camp number two. That's my problem right now. We know it's not... I, I know I've been here 20 times, okay? Just work with me. Yep, definitely I recall having been here. Just... just everybody chill. Hey, there, hold on. That's that's the wrong turn right there. This looks good though. This looks this looks groovy. Oh. Torches on the right. Spelunker's delight. <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You thought you thought you could freaking fool me. Here we go. Honestly, it's good that it's, like, hard to get here. Like, I don't want this to be, like, a speak, friend, and enter situation. There's ba base camp number two. Okay, do we need any supplies? I'm gonna go ahead and give that a, a no. Although, you know what? I think it's, like, take a coal, leave a coal. We'll take 13, drop 14. There you go. That's, that's good. Okay, I remember. I, oh, lapis? I left some lapis here. The most valuable thing you can ever get in Minecraft is an empty inventory. That's why I really think they should add a garbage can to the game. There you go. Good experience. J 
Jay, what level are you in the game right now, by the way? So if you'll excuse me, we're halfway down. I'm just going to blow my nose. Just going to blow my nose. I'm back. Ooh, feeling good. You've died less than Malph on this server? I'm just going to level with you. I've died less than everybody on this server, except for the people who have died zero times, where I have died the same amount as them. There's probably So that's just a really roundabout way of saying I've died zero times. But it's true. Nothing. Who would be George Martin if they redid the Beatles? I mean, it, it's probably... What the heck? It's got to be one of the most obvious answers of all time. Rick Rubin. Famous producer from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. No! I'm I'm a little upset, okay? I'm not lost. Okay, you know what I'm real it, this is just like Dark Souls. Okay? How'd you get here? It's just like Dark Souls. The first time you play it, it's really easy to get lost. You're not supposed to go up. You're supposed to go Yeah, down. I didn't go this way last time, right? You wouldn't lie to me. I seem to recall going exactly this way. Okay, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go back. Maybe we have to go up and over instead. That's my mistake. What the? Well, I think one spawned and immediately got ethered. Oh, that's not my staircase. This is not my beautiful house. And Al, you planning on streaming the Game Awards? Legit, I would love to... But in order for me to do that, they have to move the time. I'm not being facetious. They have to run it at an absolutely insane time of like 8.30 a.m. Pacific. If they're willing to torpedo their entire viewership by running it that early in the morning, I would love to uh, co-stream it. I'd love to be involved. I think it starts at something ridiculous, right? Like it starts at, uh, I see you creeper. It starts at like uh, 7 p.m. <clears throat> Pacific, I can't do that. Are you crazy? Like that's 7 p.m. is like, I'm starting to wind down for the night. Ah, I remember claustrophobia alley. Claustrophobia Alley. That's that means dead end. You go past. Yeah, I remember. You go past the water block. This is now we're in Geode City. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have entered non-fungible territory. Mining rights belong to NL. All those caught funging will be prosecuted. Let's go, Jay. Please do a Men in Black style memory wipe. You do not have my permission to commit the location of these deposits to uh, your memory. Hold on. I think a spider's trying to funge me right now. Sneaking suspicion I'm about to be funged. Honestly, it feels nice to be back here with like some more enthusiasm. Because last time, I mean, we were close to the end of the stream. Feels nice to be back. Did you hear that? They're in the walls. Feels nice to be back here with a little bit more energy. Mm. 
a little bit more enthusiasm. Whatever. You suck. Bro, what the heck? Shortcut? What the heck? I gotta eat, man. He, you died. Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing. You should dig a hole from the geode to the surface so that you can access it more easily. The thing for me is I'm just going to level with you. That sounds like a lot of work. Like digging down is easy because gravity helps you. Digging up is annoying. You got to like build scaffolding and stuff like that like this i mean like look at this this is like I, I feel like i'm inside a pinhead's lair or something i also feel like there's something nice about like like i can be the red skull of this server but without all his problematic views you know i can be like i am cursed to lead those to a treasure i cannot possess because my inventory is full All right, Red Skull might have been a little bit more than problematic. Also, like, I don't even want to say this, but, you know, Malf today, I went to his stream and I said, do you need any Amethyst? This is such a Malf move. The first thing he said is, NL, I know about that geode under my base. Like, I came down here, I dug... 80 tiles into the earth. Found this geode myself. And then he was like, hey, just so you know, like, I'll let you have it. Even though I built like a shitty little hut on top of it. Okay. Like you didn't do any of the, you didn't plant the wheat. You didn't harvest it. You didn't water it. You didn't grind it into flour. You want to eat all the bread. This is no way for society to function, man. Destroy him from below. I suppose I could tunnel up, leave a bunch of TNT under his base, and then if I ever decide that he's uh, annoyed me, explode it all. He owns the land. Some of you need to look at your deeds more closely. You don't own, like, everything under your house down to the core of your earth. Or of the earth, I should say. Like, you probably own, like... 20 feet under your house the rest pretty much belongs to the city which is pretty fucked up too because i don't remember the, you know them buying it <laughs> i just for some reason I, that's just the uh divine right of kings or something like that but okay just go so we did pretty well 52 amethyst crystals all right let's go into the cave man Go down and... Oh, I forgot I left some iron over here. Because my inventory was so freaking full last time. Now I'm like... I, I, I can't believe I've gotten to this point. But like... I feel like... I don't have that much need for iron anymore. I guess you always need it for tools. It's just not, It's just a bit of a flex to not have to use any stone tools. But then the other thing is like you're 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 going to need to replace your armor at points but like what what's the next step in the Minecraft progression More diamonds I guess diamond armor I don't like the nether like honestly it, it just it scares me I don't find it pleasant to be there The only way I was able to do okay in the nether on the last dad craft is because Jay did all the work. Like, Jay basically colonized the nether by putting, like, that... He, he built, like, a 17-lane freeway right in the heart of, like, Gas City. Little problematic, Jay. That being said, it did make it much easier to get around. So, you know... 
You take the good with the bad. Love how they just demolished it and didn't even blink. Yeah, I don't, dude, it's crazy. They were talking, I don't know if you were here, they were talking about how like they don't, they're like, oh, jokingly. They were joking, but you could tell there was a little reality to it. They were like, Jay's not allowed to build anything on this server because it makes us all look bad. And I, you know what it is? Is it's like, that's what it's like to be a small fish in a big pond. Like they're used to being amazing builders and they're much better than me. I can't deny that. But they get threatened a little bit when there's a, a more considered builder on. They're like, oh, the only way to, to make myself feel better is to, you know, slow that person down. I, on the other hand, have reached the enlightened step of uh, recognizing that everybody is better than me at building. And as a result, I'm like, build, look on Jay's works, ye mighty in despair. I want I want you to build the the Parthenon and the the Colossus at Rhodes and the the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid. Like I want you to build all that stuff because I know I I can't even build like a like a triangle. Like I'm I'm pretty much just stuck as squares. I suppose with a little bit of consideration, I could probably get a rectangle going. Just got here. Was NL able to refine the geode? Not only was I able, but it was like easy. It wasn't even a challenge. I see movement in the deep. They have dug too deep and too greedily. I will say this is like new territory for me though. I think... We should be in the caves by now. Can we get back on topic with the Beatles 2.0? In all seriousness, like... Hold on. I'm just going to wipe my nose. <laughs> in all seriousness, it's like... I wouldn't say I'm like, I find it sad. Because I get that they're doing something that they find, like, fun. And it also, you know, is their job. But... When, like, you know, Freddie Mercury died, and then they made Queen 2.0 with Adam Lambert, you're just like, not, not to be rude, I see that this is the caves, but you're like, it's not Queen. Like, I don't, I don't want to go see, like, I got nothing against Brian May and the rest of the individuals. I don't remember their names. I have not yet seen the movie. Um, but... Like, I don't want to go see Brian May, the other two original members of Queen, and then the guy who came, like, fifth on American Idol sing Freddie Mercury songs. I'm sure he does a, an admirable job. He's, like, a competent singer, for sure. Like, more than competent. But, but like, he didn't write those. They're not his songs. It's like if they did a pavement reunion tour, but like the guy from Built to Spill was singing the Stephen Malcolmus parts. I'd be like, it's, you know, I, I, in a band, you can like replace a, like a bassist. You can replace a drummer or like a keyboardist. It's really hard to replace an iconic lead singer. I'm not saying that you, like, okay, there's a difference. Like, there are exceptions, you know? If Rush started touring uh, now that Neil Peart has died, and they were like, hey, we just got, like, you know, that 12-year-old kid from the drum-off videos with Dave Grohl doing Neil Peart's parts, I'd be like, okay, that's kind of cool, but, like, you know, it's, I'm not trying to gatekeep, but it doesn't feel like it's the same necessarily. You know what's crazy that I was thinking about? I was thinking about the Beatles last night, as I, as I often do. And, and this is just a classic little, you know, we're old kind of bit. Do you know that, like, if you grew up with your parents listening to the Beatles, 
Like I, I was a kid in the 1990s, right? Um, the Beatles were to my parents as like Nirvana is to me. It's kind of crazy to think about, right? Like when they were listening to like Here Comes the Sun, do 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 do, that's that was as old to them then as Smells Like Teen Spirit is to me now, which is kind of crazy. What about the Red Hot Chili Peppers? Look, I got nothing against the Red Hot Chili Peppers, but like, let's not compare Nirvana and the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and let's not compare, uh, you know, the Beatles and the Monkees, okay? Like, let's just keep our heads screwed on straight here. I don't hate the Red Hot Chili Peppers. That's, that is incorrect. I do think that there's a difference between here comes the sun, do 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 do, and uh, oh, what I gotta gotta put it in your ba your bilbo. What I gotta gotta put it in your thrillbo. What I got you gotta scoot it in your bilbo. You bit it a bing and you do a little grillbo. Like, you know, that's like whenever I need to hear a song about California, I know what band I'm gonna go to, okay? But I don't always want to hear a song about California. I got to find the way down, man. That is, that's my verse for, uh, for Bear's album. Well, let's just go down here for the 20th time. Just jump forehead. I will say, though, can I tell you something? I'm so sick of, like, 80s nostalgia. I, let's not go that way. I fully recognize that nostalgia is not going anywhere. Could we at least get to, like, 90s nostalgia? I feel like we've had more than 10 years of 80s nostalgia. The, the, the wave of 80s nostalgia has lasted now longer than the 1980s. It's too much. 90s fashion is back. Yeah, but, like, not the, not the movies, really. Like, I mean, they're, they're still making Jurassic Parks, I guess, but... Mom, I threw up. We're in 2000s nostalgia? We are not in 2000s nostalgia. Maybe in some avenues. We are? How so? Fashion for sure. I don't know anything about fashion. I'll give you that one. Mom jeans. Okay. It's still fashion. Like there's a Matrix movie. Okay. You know what? I'll, I'll give you new Spider-Man as well. Like, the fact that people are like, Tobey Maguire, Tobey Maguire, okay, sure. You got me on that one? Maybe, maybe we got a little 2000s nostalgia coming back. Boy bands are popular. Dude, I don't want to get the BTS army on me. Because I, I, and not only am I a fan of uh, some K-pop, my wife listens to it all the time, I find myself tapping my foot, bobbing my head, but uh, I lived in Korea, ergo... You can't criticize me, right? However, I was on like the Peloton subreddit last night and there was a post from like a middle-aged person that was like, there's, wow, really? Like there's so few little BTS uh, content in these rides. Really, Peloton? And then somebody replied, there are 127 rides that have a BTS song. And then the person replied, yeah, but most of them are probably just dynamite. And really, one song per ride? ARMY knows what I'm talking about. We need more... We need a specific BTS ride that has, like, this song and this song and this song. And I'm like, there's 127 rides with, with BTS. Con like, you're riding the bike, right? Like, you, I, I'm not anti-BTS. I'm just like, you, you got, like, a ton of content. They're probably like one of the, the 20 most represented artists, you know, on the service. 
And then you're like, 127 rides is not enough? Yeah, there's not a single Tom Waits ride where you, you boot it up and the guy's like, all right, Cadence, uh, 80 to 100. We sail tonight for Singapore. We're all as mad as hatters here. You, like, it's all just, you know, Elden John and ACDC and stuff like that. There's not a, there's not a single Tom Waits ride. Let me guess. I'm going the same direction where all the dead ends were. <laughs> that would get me schmoovin'. I would, I would PB a Tom Waits ride for sure. Yeah, well, dude, honestly, a Guided by Voices ride could slap pretty hard. Because the songs are like 30 seconds long. It's the perfect interval for high aerobic work. They, but everybody would think that their headphones were broken because the songs were all recorded on like, you know, four-track recorders. No Island Boys. Yeah, there's not a single Island Boy ride. Yet. Yet. I would totally, I would take a meme ride. Oh, no. There you go. Saved. <laughs> Just Oh, that's terrible. Anyway, how's your meniscus? Honestly, it's rained almost every day from November onwards here. Uh, and I have not felt my knee pain flare up. As a result, I'm inclined to give myself a clean bill of health. After seven years of complaining about a torn meniscus and never seeking any kind of treatment ever, because the one time I told my doctor about it, she said, sounds like it's just a motivation problem. And I said, all right, I guess I'll just go die then. Uh, just let Mother Nature heal it for me, and I, I think I'm good to go. I think I'm back to, back to copacetic. What is that sound again? <laughs> Rip Bozo. No, my doctor's really good. I mean, like, honestly, that's... It sounds bad. I'm not saying any, everybody else should live like that. But that's, like, um, what I need sometimes. It's the same, not to make this, like, a Peloton episode. But it's the same on the Peloton when, you know, people are like, I love this instructor. And then I take a ride with them. And they're like, you, you can do it. You're beautiful. Love yourself. I'm like, oh, shut the fuck up. I like to strike a balance where, like, you know, most of the instructors I like are like, you know, hey, this is going to be hard, but, you know, do your best. And I'm like, okay, that's good advice. That's something that I, I can get down with. Okay, don't get lost. We've made it. We're in the caves. Surely we, we can find our way back here. This is getting sketchy. No, no, no. Because you know what you do? Just light it up, man. Just like torches everywhere. Because this is important. Now we're in the system. I would, uh, even now, I would place some torches down just on the floor. The heck is that? Is that a man in the water? This way we know if you see a torch on the floor, you're going in the right direction, kind of. Honestly, seems pretty calm down here. Seems pretty chill. I'm looking at the man in the water. Low key, uh, one of the Geode? One of the best uh, Michael Jackson songs. What is this one white block? It is a geode? 
Oh my god, are you kidding me? I'm actually insane? Look, I'm not gonna mine out all the purple this time. That that was like a little much. But I will mine out all the crystals. Let me tell you, the amethyst mine just got a little uh just got a little bit more uh, productive, some might say. Oh, I'm on top of the crystal. Although I honestly shouldn't even mine this out because that's just going to... It's like how, you know, if you want to be like a, a, a farmer, like you have to destroy half of your crops in order to keep prices... Uh, what the heck is... No, no. Squid Game? They're harmless? Bro, I just hate... Like, sea animals. Like, I'm happy they exist or whatever, but, like, I find them unsettling. It's okay. I'll, I'll survive. You know, it's just, like, kind of free. Ooh, freaky. Do you have thalassophobia? I was talking about this in the Discord with like the, my other colleagues last night. I'm just like a guy. I don't know. Like I have things that like I like and things that I dislike. But I don't know like if I have like a, like a, a Latin named affliction. I'm just like a guy with, with like, you know, preferences and, and aversions. I'm just like a dude. I don't, I don't like anytime... People online try to, like, diagnose me with something. I'm like, I don't know, man. I just, like, you know, I'm just doing my thing. I'm just, like, a normal dude who doesn't really like, uh, you know, jellyfish. Just, like, an everyday guy. Yeah, I don't have time to have thassalophobia. I'm just a, I'm just, I, like, I have a job. Excuse me? Zombie village? They're just vibing. They're just like normal guys too, look. I mean, you shouldn't come down to the land of the zombies and then be like, what the heck is that, man? Is that a ladder? If you're going to come down to the, the land of the zombies and then start shooting them, like, that makes you, like, a bad guy. That's just water. Just water. Okay. You hear that? Zombie pigman? Zombie villager! I mean... He threw the first punch. Save him? You can do that? I'll just murder him while the, the inspirational music plays. He brought it on himself. That was self-defense. Uh, you saw it. He punched me. Excuse me? Okay, diorite, no thank you. Rail, no thank you. We need we need another garbage can. Just honestly, IMO. Minecraft needs to take a, a hint from PUBG and remove like all the useless loot. Cause it's getting to be a little much. Like, why do we need calcite, diorite, deep slate, like? Just take a cue from Uncle Joey's book and like cut it out, man. For building, for building, okay, nerd. What you don't live in a in a pine box? Let that crystal stay.
Or they could just let you have a much larger inventory. He's got a purple thing in his hand? Yo, 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 yo. Yo, what the hell? I've been poisoned. You must be killed. Nice miss, loser. Nice miss. Too strong. They're too strong. I gotta eat some steaks, man. I gotta eat some steaks. No. Slop them up. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live. Holy crap. 